Hello. What's this? What is this sublime sound? Could that be... Could that be Nerevar Rising? I think it might be. I don't think it's just Nerevar Rising just now. Woo! Spice. Hello. Um, just to preface, I may have to go at short notice. Uh, the reason my stream has been delayed by about a quarter of an hour, uh, the hospital my wife sat called me and she's had to go over to their A&E department because she's had some uh, complications from the meds that she's on. So uh, they may ring me. I may get called up at short notice. If I have to dash, then, you know, just to preface that i apologize in advance but you know we're gonna play a bit of morrowind tonight i've been wanting to play this on stream for a while like obviously morrowind is mostly known these days for the meme content right you know um dagoth wave and um argonians and uh <laughs> khajiit mistreatment of those two um but we're gonna just start a fresh save um i'm probably gonna go for like a battle mage type oh really okay you're in for a treat then. Um, so Morrowind is the point where Elder Scrolls started to become a bit more of an action game. But at the same time, it's still mostly D&D mechanics. So it's still like you roll to hit every time that you attack someone. Hey, hey, welcome, Arya. Welcome. Um, yeah, the the combat is very much... Uh, how do I describe it? How, um, how do I describe the combat in Morrowind? Uh, it's gimpy. It is really silly. Um, we're going to jump straight in. We're going to go meet our boy, Jib. Oh. Oh, look at it. <laughs> oh, wait, where's my mask? Wait, is that... Did that work? No! My mask isn't working. Oh, no. Damn it. I had my Dagoth Ur mask all set and ready to go, but the toggles... The toggles busted. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, I don't know if I can fix that, if I'm honest. Um, well. Oh. How could they? How dare they? How dare? Oh, okay. That's nice, I guess. Wake up. <gasps> Shaking. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Stand up. Hello, Jib. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Look at that chisel physique. What's my name? Um, I'm the real Nary Barry. This, uh, if you don't know Morrowind, this is going to be. This is probably going to be <laughs> a bit of an in-joke, but, you know, don't worry about it too much. Um, there we go. Yes. Not even last night's storm could wake you. God, he is sexy, isn't he? Look at him. Oof. I'm sure they'll let us go. I hope so. Quiet. Here comes the guard. Hello, guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. Okay. Oh yeah, we got to go through all of the. Uh... You better do what they say. Okay. <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Unfortunately, I'm. Uh... Unfortunately, I'm one of the. I'm. I'm like the anime equivalent of the Beatles with his hair. Look at it, majestic. Oh yes. Oh, it's great, isn't it? It's great. Wait, hang on. Is it is it quite dark on your end? Um, hang on. Give me a second. Um, I'm just gonna. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is it? Uh, it's not that. It doesn't come up that dark on my stream monitor. Uh, is is it quite dark for you guys? Hang on. Uh, let me just see if I can jack the brightness up on OBS a second. Um, hold on, hold on. No, that's all good. That's all good. A uh, bit dark. All right. Okay. Um, how do I? Uh, oh, how do I? How do I sort that then? Uh, settings. Can I put a? I know there's a way that you can do it, but uh, I'm not a hundred. I tell you, let's try. It. Let's see if we can actually jack it up in. Uh... Ah, yeah, we can. Let's put the gamma correction up. 
Let's just jack the gamma correction to, like, actually, let's put the view distance to max as well. Okay. There we go. Is that better? Is that better? I hope it's better. Right, okay. Hi, guard. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. That's kind of mean, but all right. Um... Okay. This is where they Hello. You. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. Okay, that seems reasonable. Um, oh, it is a little bit. I think it's because I set the um, the view distance like I did. So hang on, let me just let me just dial that back to sort of the middle again. Oh, that that patented morrowind steam filter. Yeah, that's better. Let's okay. go. Move it along. Okay, okay. Hello. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Where am I from? Um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be an absolute. Um, I mean, I was, I want to play a a spell sword, but I also want to keep it. Um, I want to keep it sort of. Wait, can I not move that around? Oh wait, no, use that to move it around don't you yeah uh, oh look at look at, look at that. he's got a butt inside of his head yeah um yeah I, i'm gonna be playing a dark elf um let's see what the uh yeah this this is the this is the face that you give to nary berry isn't it oh, this, this is like the this is like the canon face that he has in all the artworks so I'm, I'm gonna be kind of basic bitching in terms of like playing him um, and what hair does he have? I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that Nerevar should have a mohawk. But let's just see what the other options are. Um, oh wait, no, is it the the big the big backward spikes? Yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for that. Um, so we get skill bonuses, athletics, destruction, light armor, long blade. Mo I mean, I'm gonna take some levels in. Um, I'm gonna take some levels in. Um, heavy armor as well. Just I much prefer heavy armor. You you move like an absolute slug to the begin within the game. It's going to be a hell of a schlep. This is going to be like walking simulator. <laughs> it's just going to be walking all over the place, really slowly all the time. Um, but yeah, just have a look at the other hairstyles and just see. Wow, look at those ears! Oh my god, that's crazy. Why why are his ears so fucked up? Like you compare it to the rest of them, they got like kind of normal is for like Dunmer and th that one's just like look at the absolute size of these I mean all of the size of these lads no let's go with that hairstyle um where we've got the uh, I mean the the ears are still a little bit messed up on the one side but you, you know what I mean everyone looks a bit fucked up in Morrowind because it's a uh, I mean this game is like what 20 years old now so you know it's all good and then for his face um no the face is just that one okay Welcome home, I guess. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Yeah, you say that. <laughs> you say that. <laughs> but the Dunmer is still going to abuse me for being an Outlander, aren't they? Okay. Okay. Um. Right, in we go. Hello, Sakushius. We've been expecting my old friend you have to be recorded before you're officially released. <laughs> okay. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Oh, I see. Okay. Um Let's create a custom class just for the fact that it'll be Uh Yeah, I'll, I'll fill out the forms. Why not? So Right, okay, so major skills we want to take long blade heavy armor we don't want medium armor um i want to take um destruction as a major skill armor i think yeah keep, keep armor as a minor skill because it'll medium armor is like bone mold armor so it's they took it out after morrowind so morrowind has a if you look at all this it's got a lot more options than uh oblivion even did you know it's got about it's got another sort of entire trees worth of options basically 
Um, you know, like you got spear, you've got axe as its own thing, blunt weapon for like maces and stuff. Um, but no, athletics will level up quickly enough on its own. So we long blade, heavy armor, armorer. I'm gonna put as a minor skill because that'll level up on its own. Um, so destruction. What else? What else? Uh, alchemy. I'm gonna want as a minor skill. Um, Take Restoration as a minor skill. Take um, Conjuration as a major skill. Cause I quite like the sort of spell tank sort of build where you you get summons out and then you go to town on things. Um, enchant might be good, but I'm, I've am i never really explored Morrowind's enchantment sort of system, so let's not worry about that too much. Um, what else do we want in here then? Uh... See, the, the stealth tree skills, they're not really any good to... Let's take alteration. So, yeah, I mean, we've got three heavy armor and long blade there. And then I suppose we'll want to take a, another weapon skill as well. Um... Oh, actually, no, enchantment would probably be pretty good. So we're going to stick with swords, really. Like long swords and whatnot, because they're... I mean, block, we could, I guess, but I'm not too worried about block. Let's, let's, not, let's not worry about that. Um, class description. No, let's not worry about that. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do. That'll do. Very good. The letter that preceded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. Okay. And what would that be? What sign would that be? Um, we don't want to take that because it gives us weakness to Magicka. Um, that's good but the stunted magic especially in this game is not good want to avoid that um mm. Ooh. i mean i think the steed's probably the best thing because fortify speed for a heavy armor character at this point is actually really nice Let's do that. Let's be horse. Interesting. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Give it a lick. Um, yes. Here we go. Here we go. Um, would you not have to charge into trees whilst you're on a uh, Coridon? Just going to throw that out there. Just going to throw that out there. Um, so, yeah, we've got... We're actually pretty beef to start with, like, 50 strength to start with. Um... Willpower's a bit on the low side, but that's okay. 75 speed as a starting character. That's really quick. Um, okay. That's really, really fucking quick. Oh, my word. Okay. Yeah, do it. Okay, so how do we get to... Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Okay, so we want to... We need to... Um... How do I get to my menus? Okay. Uh, take that. Ah, we've got the inventory menu, which is... Uh... How do we get into that? Hold on. How do I get into my inventory menu? Oh, there we go. It's right click. Okay. So, there's something I can do here. And then if we drop this... Uh oh. Okay. Thank you. And then I can take that and I can make some money off of that. There's a key somewhere in here as well. Ah, shh. No, I can't get the key now. Oh, well. Well, that's unfortunate. Wait, where was that? There's there's a key somewhere in here. I can never remember where the bloody thing... I got the line where platter, so... You know what? That's okay, I guess. Um... Well, let's not worry about it too much. You know, I, I got the limeware platter. That belongs to me. So I can sell that off for some uh, big money. Okay. I should learn how to do combat. Okay. Ah, I see. I'm, try I'm having to relearn how to, like, what the controls are, which is a bit weird. 
Yeah, we'll just take as much as we can. We're just gonna... We're just gonna absolutely rinse these poor bastards. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yes, we, uh... <laughs> They're not quite as wild as, like, Thief the Dark Project controls, at least. Um, if you've ever played that, the controls for that, like, you have to actually crab hand it to the point that you may as well be playing, um... You may as well be playing, like, Armored Core or something. It's fucking weird. Absolutely weird. All right. Um, let's equip... Uh, Daguerre. Press F to pull out your weapon. And then pay respects. Pay respects to those damned Imperial dogs. Um, um, no, excuse me. No. Anyway. Right. Into Sedanine we go. Okay. I have a map menu. Huzzah. Uh, oh, yes. We're going to meet Best Boy. We're going to fleece Best Boy. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about doing that. Your papers, please. Ah, okay. So is this where the key is? I think this might be... Where did I put that? This might be where the key is. Hang on. Yeah, that's the badger. We, we, we need to try and get that. Okay. So let's just um, drop this line where platter in it so he doesn't take that off of us. And then we want to go, like... Like that. You've stolen for the last time. Okay. Let my actions go for now, please. Teehee. Teehee. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Morrowind, that's where we are. First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I am Silas Gravius, but my background is unimportant. I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. Yes, you're in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here, or why you were released from prison and shipped here. But your authorization came directly from Uriel Septim the Seventh himself, and I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are a free man. But before you go, I have instructions on your duties, instructions from the Emperor, so pay careful attention. This package came with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to Caius Casades in the town of Balmora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Caius Casades. Don't know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you and a disbursal to your name. Okay. Thank you very much. 87 gold. That's an oddly, spe that's an oddly specific amount, but let's have a look at this letter, shall we? Uh, is, is it just the directions to, um, oh, how do I, don't I have to, like, yeah, I have to put it onto myself, uh, okay, you have been given these directions in a package of documents, do not show them to anyone, do not attempt to read the documents, um, in the package, the package has been sealed and your tampering will be discovered and punished, follow these directions, proceed to the town of Balmora in Vardenfell district, report to a man named Kais Kasades. He will be a superior patron. You will follow his orders. His residence is not known, but ask at the corner club called Southwall. People there will know where to find Kais Kasades. When you report to Kais Kasades, because we just love saying his name that much because he's an absolute fucking lad, um, deliver the package of documents to him and wait for further orders. Remember, you owe your life and freedom to the Emperor. Serve him well and you'll be rewarded. Betray him and you will suffer the fate of all traitors. What, what fate is that? To drive the mongrel dogs of the Empire from Morrowind? <laughs> Uh, okay. Ah. Oh, yeah. I'm still getting used to the fucking controls here. Okay, there we go. Right. But I've, I've got a key for... I've got a key for in here. Let's save before we go in, though. Uh... I probably could do, but let's... Okay, I'm in the warehouse. Warehouse shipping log. What we got here? Yeah, it's going to load up on Imperial stuff. Just straight up. Just walk in, just steal their equipment. Jobs are good and right. Is that moon sugar? Why the fuck is there moon sugar in here? Quite a lot of it as well. Uh, Imperial broadsword, I'll take that. 
There's so much moon sugar. Why? What is up with all, what is up with all that? Uh, what's my... I mean, that's a pretty solid starting weapon, actually. Um, okay. Any, uh... Oh, hang on. Steel Greaves. Ooh. I think that's... Are they better than what I've got now? Armor rating... No, they're actually a bit worse. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm taking everything out of there. Fleece them bastards. Bottles. I don't remember if I can like actually speak to that guard up top. So I've gained legal entry to this building because I had the key, right? But let's speak to him and see what happens. Uh, nope. Goodbye. So we can just walk around up here. Because we got the key, we can just walk around as much as we want because we're not technically trespassing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, hello there. Yes. Um, nope, it's just chatting some bullshit. Go ahead, stranger. That's a lot of gold. Um... Kind of, yeah. I'm, I'm still in Sadanine. I've just, um, I've just started the uh, the game from fresh now, so pretty much still in the uh, in Yieldy starting area. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a. Uh... Oh, what do we got here? A chain curious. Um, have I got a left gauntlet? Yeah, I've got a left gauntlet already. Um... Out of the tutorial, at least, yes. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Skooma! Damn dogs of the Empire. I can't believe they do this. Okay. 250 arrows. That's quite a lot of arrows. I'm going to take them. Because, you know, I could, I could probably use them at some point. Um, uh, what else? What else? There's some alchemy stuff. S yeah, I mean, we, sh we should probably take, like, stuff for doing alchemy, shouldn't we? Um, yeah, like, if we, if we take the alchemy supplies, we can... Yeah, I, I think... You if I remember, I think you can do that up to the point the captain takes your papers off you, and he's he's taking them off me now. So I'm gonna be a good I'm gonna be a good Nerevar, and uh, I'm not gonna come to them through fire and war just yet. Soon, it's coming, it's coming. Don't worry about that. <gasps> Best boy. Hello, Fargoth. Are you the one the boat dropped off? Not to see a boat arrive at that time of day. Hope the Imperials treated you okay. I swear they took my ring. Ring. I swear one of the gods has it. I had it last week before their weekly Let's Shake Down Fargoth ritual. An engraved healing ring. Family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? Yes, I found it. Here, take it. You found it. Amazing. Thank you, thank you. You're now my favorite friend. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend who really runs the trade house here. Go see him. He'll be happy to see you now. Okay, let's go do that. We can go buy some stuff. I have a feeling that you and I are about to become very close. Keep flirting like that, and we just might, fella. Oh, ho, ho, spice. Mm. Mm, yes. Now, here, here's an interesting point that I discovered recently. See how, see how the Imperial Legion. Uh, Let's hear it. See, see how he looks like a Roman legionnaire, right? Who destroyed the? Who, who sacked Rome and brought their empire into decline? Who did that? It was, it was the Goths, right? Who was the enemy of the Empire in Morrowind? The Goth. Yeah. Got them big brain moments going on in my head today. Oh, yes, we do. Okay, we're in the trade house. Hello, Aurel. Welcome to Aurel's trade house. I barter for goods or coin. I also have a small selection of spells for sale. No credit. You want a little advice? That's free. That's all that's free. Would you like to hear about our most popular potions? Our most popular scrolls? No. I just want to buy some stuff. Um, and look at all the stuff I can buy. Wait, wait, wait. But then I can go like that, get 370 quid from him, 
and instantly kind of uh, instantly kind of gear myself up a bit. So we want a. Um, I mean, what do we got right now? So on a steel right gauntlet. Okay. Uh, we need some boots. We need some boots. What boots has he got? You know, I, I need to get my Tims on. Right, need to get the Tims. Um, what Tims have you got, mate? I don't think you've really got very many. Um, chitin, fur. Uh, I mean, I'll take I'll take the Curious because that will be real good for me. Um, I'm going heavy. I'm going heavy. I'll take one scroll of Almsivy Intervention. Okay. Um, we've still got a little bit of money that we can use, so... I'm I'm kind of going for, like, um, what I call a spell tank. So it's a battle mage, but instead of focusing on, like, destruction, you mostly focus on conjuration summoning. Um, I played it through Oblivion. It works really well in Oblivion. I don't know if it's going to translate to Morrowind very well. And you know what? It probably won't, but... We'll have some fun with it. And he doesn't have any good boots, this guy. What a dick. What an, what an actual dick. Look at all this. He's got all these chess pieces, but he's just... He's not got any Tims. Oh, well. Um, It might do. I, I can't remember if it does, but if it does, then... You know what? I'll work around that. It'll be abs... It'll be fine, I'm sure. How are you? I am well, thank you for asking. Let's, uh... Oh, look at this. 12 armor straight off the bat. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, okay. Nice. We're gonna go stitch Fargoth up straight away. Um, it might be stamina? I can't quite remember. It's been a... I say it's been a while since I played. It's only been a couple of years since I played Morrowind, but... Why are my eyes constantly looking like they're closed? They're not. Hang on. Right. We... Yeah? My eyes open now? Okay, good. Good. Hello there. You look like you could use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. I'd like to help you I'd like you to help me recover some gold. Ah, that's right. See, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes at excuse me, playing with nine holes. Bit dirty. I lost a lot of money. Normally I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets from the money that the locals pay us for protection. But I know some of them are holding out on me, especially that little fetcher Fargoth. He came up light on the past a couple of weeks when I was shaking him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Fargoth's hiding place. Okay. I know the little fetcher's got one somewhere in town. I'm just not sure where yet. I've already gone through his whole house, so I know he's not hiding it there. I'd like you to find out where he's stashing his gold. And if you can, I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? Okay. Excellent. Here's what I want you to do. I'm not sure where he goes, but I know he wanders around town at night. Watch his movements. The best vantage point is on top of the lighthouse south of town. That will give you a nice view of all of Sadenine. If you keep an eye on where he goes, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where he's hiding that gold. Yeah, I'll do that. I won't pay you a fucking penny of it though, dickhead, but I'll do it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Right, so we want to go to the lighthouse. We're going to spend our first day in Morrowind there. That's all, I mean, it's just... You just stand in there, pal. Yes. Yes. Oh, no, that's that's a rock. I thought it was a mushroom. I thought there was a mushroom, but it is not a mushroom. Okay. There's a few quests we'll do around here as well. Like, I don't know exactly if we're going to make any tangible progress with this game today, but you know what? That's fine because. Um, I think that's the thing with pretty much all of Morrowind is that um, if you if your stamina is low, then your chances of success at just doing pretty much anything are gonna drop drastically. Which is unfortunate because it does mean you're kind of bound by your stamina bar a bit. Alrighty. Yes, yeah, it's, it's much more important to manage stamina in this game than it is the, any of the other Elder Scrolls. So, up we go. Meow. Meow. Why do my eyes keep on closing? Hold on. 
Right, there we go. There we go. See, I'm looking at the screen. My eyes keep on closing on the model. And I don't know why. Maybe my webcam needs replacement. I don't, I don't know. We'll work it out. It'll be fine. Oh, hello there. I'm waiting. Hi, waiting. I'm uh, I'm Shinsu. How are you doing? Right, let's uh, let's just leave her just kind of chilling there. Angry natives in this game. Angry, angry natives who hate everyone, especially me. Uh, oh, let's take this. This belongs to me now. I'll take, I'll take the bread as well. Okay. So if we wait here, I think the wait key was like T. We need to wait till like midnight, I think. Oh yeah, waiting. It waiting is the T T button. All right, nice. Yeah, wait for nine hours, and then we'll see. Oh, what? he's not looking shifty at all under the watchful eye of the townsfolk. Almost all of the townsfolk. He thinks he's being right stealthy, but look, there's someone stood right there. <laughs> Every Everyone hates Outlanders. Everyone hates Outlanders. It's Morrowind. It's, it's the done thing, you know. It's the done thing. Yeah, I see you, Fargoth. My favourite friend, who I'm about to absolutely fleece for all of his life savings. God, look at that. Absolute fine figure of a Dunmer. Oh, baby. There he goes. Taking a slosh through a pissy looking pond. Delicious. Absolutely delightful. It's not, is it? It's gross. It's fucking gross. Okay. Now he's moved off, we can uh We can go pill for his life savings. I'm pretty sure we should be able to uh, normally I'd be I'd be comfortable just dropping down from there, but I kinda of feel like this build I'm gonna just kinda of drop like a lead balloon and just splat everywhere, so let's not God, I'm, I'm really going to have to get used to these controls again. Like, considering how much I played this game on PC when I was a young'un, you'd think I'd know the controls, but... Mm, it is not the way. Okay. Yeah, look, he, he's been all stealthy. There's this person here. There's that guard up there. Yeah, just take everything. Nice. And let's put that engraved ring of healing on as well. Although, actually, we've got we have got some um, we have got some spells. So let's put that one on. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. R brings up magic. F brings up weapon. Okay. Okay. Cool. Right. Let's head out of town. And do some quests. See what we can find. Huh? Oh wait, no, that's the yeah. We've already been through there, so let's not let's not go through there again, huh? Wait, how much gold did we take out of that? Was it like two hundred? Uh We're pretty pretty minted at the minute. What's this about? Yes. Right, let's uh, go for a jog. Get that athletic skill up a bit. See what we can find, huh? Yeah, it is pretty dark in like the night time in this game, so it's going to get a bit murky for a bit. I got to say the background looks nice though, with the uh, the moons up there. <gasps> Mud crab! I'm going to burn. I'm going to burn this son of a bitch. Am I going to burn him or yeah, let's let's burn him. Let's cook this little bastard. Hey up, fuckstick. Come on then, pal. That way ain't. Ow. Someone was saying... Oh, was it one of the townsfolk getting angry at the mud crab? Oh, here it comes. 
Nice. Get that destruction skill leveled. Delicious. I love I love the road most traveled. It's probably my favorite piece of Elder Scrolls music. Um yeah, I mean we can we can level a bunch of our skills. Ah, uh, we don't want to fuck with those guys, though. Not at this level. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a corpse. Is that a tactical actor? Let's go... Hello, Kwama. Get killed. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to fuck with those kids, because they will they will ruin our shit royally at this level. Oh, I probably shouldn't have taken all his clothes, but... Eh, whatever, he's dead. It's all good. Uh, so what do we have there? Tax record. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to the tax office. Let's be a responsible citizen and report this crime. Is that another mud crab? Oh, you are fucked, son. You are absolutely fucking dead. Here it comes. I'm going to cook this little bastard. Beautiful. Beautiful. Get fucked. Okay. He's dead. We'll, we'll carry on back up that way in a minute. Let's go back to Sadedine for the moment. We'll report this heinous tax crime. Do please... We've got... We're actually moving pretty quickly for... Like, for this point in the game... Considering we're wearing heavy armor, we're moving really fast. You know, it's, it's quite enlightening, actually. Unlike the uh, the level of darkness, which means that you guys are like, watching on your end, you can probably see about dick all right now. <laughs> oh, hi, Fargoth. I definitely didn't take your ring. Uh, what, was the, what was the jump key again? Oh, Caps Lock toggles the... Uh, constantly running. Okay. That's useful. Hello, Souls Gravius. Um... No, you haven't got anything useful to tell me, so let's not worry about that, huh? Alright. In we go. Hello. What do I want? Uh... Murdered? What a waste. Processus was a good man. I've been wondering why we hadn't heard from him in a few days. Still, these are dangerous times we live in, and these sorts of things will happen. Did you happen to find the tax money you collected? I hate to be so callous, but I do have a job to do. Yes, I did. You did? How odd that he was murdered, but not robbed. Your honesty is appreciated. I can tell you that. I won't forget this, I'm Daryl Neriberry. In fact, if you're looking for some money for yourself, I'd like to see the murder of Processus punished. Killing an Empress tax collector is punishable by death. Find his murderer, bring him to justice, and the census and excise office will pay you 500 septums. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's bouncy hunt! But first, let's walk slowly so as to uh, regain my... Um... Did I pick up a boring pestle? I did not. Not yet, anyway. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Yeah, take everything there. I mean, it might be worth going to buy more serum pestle when we can. Um, do some alchemies and whatnot. Fail alchemy constantly. All right. Well, let's speak to the townsfolk. See if they know anything. Hello. Someone finally got him, huh? Well, it's no surprise, I suppose. No one likes a tax collector, especially one who flaunts his wealth while taking our hard-earned cash. Only one who could stomach him at all was, uh, Thavir over in the lighthouse. The two of them spent some time together. Shame, really. She seemed like a nice woman. Okay. We're gonna go see the lighthouse lady, the one who was mean to us earlier. You whistling at my butt? 
I mean, I don't blame you, but... Blooming sweat. Whistling at my bum. For free. Okay. Into the lighthouse we go. Ah, it's you. I'm Thavir Vidrano. Welcome to Scenic Sadanine, Gateway to Morrowind. You're looking for someone in particular? Do you just want a little advice? No, I want to tell you that your, your lover has been fucking stabbed to death. Processor's murdered? No, tell me it's not so. He was the gentlest man I've ever met. He and I had become so close in the past few months. I don't know what I will do without him. I've only seen him get angry once or twice and never raised a hand to anyone. This is so sad. Well, not even angry, I suppose. I saw him arguing with foreign, uh, foreign Gilnith about his taxes. He thought Processor had been levying too much and skimming off the top for himself. Ridiculous. Processors wouldn't have done such a thing. I'm sure of it. Please find out what happened, friend. And if you find what became Processor's ring, it would e ease my heart. I gave him the ring many months ago, and it was dear to him. I would like it to remember him by. I mean, is it valuable? Because if it is, mm, maybe not. Maybe not. I might have to steal it. It might be mine. Duff. What a, what a satisfying thud. So if we're going to fight this guy, um, we want to make sure our stamina bar is full. Because if you try and fight anything with a slightly depleted stamina bar, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're going to have a bad day. You're going to have a very bad day. Okay. Right, we're going to save there as well. So... Yeah, to save on that one, that's fine. Seeing as I can actually click on that one. This your house? No. Nope. Make it quick, Outlander. No, that attitude I fucking won't. Meanie bow beanie. Okay. Hello. What do you want? That Fetcher? You're damn right I did him in, and a good thing too. He was skimming a load of money from all us honest people, overcharging us on our taxes, and keeping the difference for himself. He was always flaunting his money around, showing us no new clothes and jewels. So I killed the bastard and left his body out there to rot, with all his ill-begotten gold still on him. That's... you're a murderer. You're one of them, huh? Come to kill me? Well, give it your best shot, Dark Elf. I've no problem spilling more blood of the Emperor's lackeys. No, I won't. I'll just hit you a few times with the sword, and now you're dead. Uh, what do you got on you? The ring. Let's take all, and let's dispose of the corpse. Bye, corpse. Disappear into the ether. Your house is now mine. This is my house now, bitch. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I own this joint now. Look at this. This is all ours now. One day, all this will be yours. What? The curtains? Oh, no worries. Thanks for swinging by. Thanks for swinging by. I'll probably catch you on Discord at some point. I'll make it quick. Don't you worry. <laughs> she just steps to me as soon as I draw the sword out. <laughs> this game. Oh, Morrowind is silly. Morrowind is silly, and that's why we like it. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let's go report the, uh... Let's go report this to Mr. Grav... What no, Mr. Agala. I, I got him confused with Sel's Gravis, but no, this is Sakusha's, isn't it? Okay. I heard you've been asking about his murder. I'm glad to see this matter brought to its completion. Here's your reward, I'm Daryl Neriberry. Good to see there are still some citizens who understand their loyalty to our Emperor. 500 gold for an easy fucking quest like that? Yes, yes, I like it. I like it. Mm. Delectable. Hear You're hearing nothing from me, pal. Right, okay. Um, Is there very much else left to do in Sadie? I mean, we might want to pop to the store and buy some, like, alchemy stuff, I guess. Just to get us started. We can start failing to make potions then. Um, What spells do you have? Um, fireball. Ooh. Some of these are actually pretty nice, you know. Let's take let's take fireball. 
And then let's also take... Um, we probably want to get some potions. So, what potions you got? Fortify luck. Is that it? Bit shit, but... We'll take the mortar and pestle. And, yeah, we, we've got a thousand gold already. We're minted. Look at us go. <laughs> let's make us some potions, shall we? We're not going to succeed at this. What should we fail on our first potion? Yep, your potion failed. I mean, we do just want to kind of get the um, the alchemy skill up, so it's all good, right? Wow. Yeah, it's going great so far, this old make potions thing, isn't it? Oh, we got a couple. That's good. That's good. And every single potion that we actually manage to make will kind of uh, go towards the old alchemy skill. So, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Like, stuff for restore fatigue potions is everywhere. All right. Let's head back up the coast. And we'll see if we can find anything cool. Going for a jog. Jogging in the 80s. Actually, before we do that, let's... Uh, Let's let it get light so you guys can actually see what the heck's going on. There we go. That's better. That's better. You can see what's happening now. Alrighty. Alrighty. Yeah, this looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? We've lost the murk that makes Morrowind Morrowind. We can now see things again. Is that... Hmm, that's more of a poison. We don't want that. We don't want to worry about that. Oh, do, do Violet Caprinus give... I've already got some of them. Hmm. I can't remember if I do or not. Oh, no, it's the Luminous Rosal that we had. We've, I think we've got a water walking spell anyway, so, you know, it's kind of like... Why would I need that? Um, I want the one... I need to try and find the one which gives us Restore Magicka, and I can't remember if it's one of these ones or not. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. What's this? Draggle tail. Uh... Oh, that's the same mushroom as before. Got my feet wet for fucking nothing, pal. Brilliant. No! Oh! No! oh dear. Well, that was unfortunate. But I think Tarheel is uh, dead. Uh, you got some... The scrolls of the carrion flight. Oh no, I'm not using these. <laughs> if you use them, you go absolutely flying. I'm taking your hat, though. And I'm taking the spark sword. Journal of Tahiel. I believe I may have found the correct formula for the spell I'm developing. With it, I'll be able to travel great distances without the need to pay others for the service. If all goes well, I will test out the new spell tomorrow. I believe I've worked out all the possible complications. It will allow me to leap great distances, carrying many hundreds of miles. Never before has one been able to travel in this manner. Vaulting from the ground, sailing through the skull, and a terrible disorientation of a spell of flying. The time is almost upon me. My research is finished, and all my calculations are checked and rechecked. They'll have to me when I suggested this. We'll see who laughs after I leap to the top of their towers and scream out my success. Um, yeah, but you kind of dead pal so you know too bad you don't even get disposed of you just get left there to rot in the sun bad crap, bad crap, bad crap, bad crap. watch as my low fatigue ass tries to kill it oh that wasn't too bad <laughs> that was a lot less painful than I thought it was going to be all right, yeah, give me, give me your flesh. Is that? I think we killed that one. The ass of corpse. All right, that's fine though. We're just gonna take a casual wander along the coast. Uh oh. I'm gonna kill everything that sort of jumps to us. Man, I, rem I remember the sense of scale when I first played this game. It's like 
actually, it was probably the biggest game that I'd ever played at the time. Like, in terms of just physical size of everything. Everything being so open. I mean, if we have a look at... Have a look at the the actual map for the world. You know, it's like... That's all we've done so far. It's huge. Plus, there's all Solstheim, time, and then... Uh, we can't see it, but there's Mournhold to look through. Um, Dad's house there. Beautiful. We love it. We love to see it. We love to see it. Okay. Is there anything cool down this way? There's a couple of... Can I hit him with my fireball? Hadouken! Yes. Hadouken! Nice. Get that destruction skill leveling up. Wow, my... My success in casting spells at the minute has been... A lot higher than I'm used to. A lot higher than I'm used to. But then, I, I don't really play magic characters in this game normally. This is... Uh, a bit different for me. So, uh... Yeah. There we go. Right. Along the coast we go, I guess. See... I haven't... I don't... Oh, what's this? I don't normally come this way, so I don't think I've found this before. It's a tomb. Alright. Let's save, and let's go for a dig. There we go. Right, in we go. Into the tomb. What's down here? Turn it that. Yeah, let's rob the dead. Why not? They're dead, they don't need it no more. Uh-oh. Ghost! We can't hurt it. Run away! Wait. We've got magic. We can kind of hurt it. Uh, we now don't have any way to recover our magic. Or do we? Nope. Don't have enough magic yet. Right. Hide outside here. And then... Uh, Rest until healed. Recover that magic. Go back in. And get him fucked. Get dunked on. I, this is what I mean about not playing magic characters. Yeah, I, I think to myself, oh no, a ghost, I can't do anything for it. Wait, I've got spells. I can literally just spell him to death. We are going to need to get some restore magic on the go soon, I think. Something on the other side there. I think is that a bone walker? I think it is. We probably want to. We want to save scum this because this guy could probably fuck up our shit quite handily. Uh, we don't want to get our shit fucked up too handily, huh? All right. Ow. Ow. Die. We didn't we didn't take any uh No. Okay, good. Right, take everything off of him. Maybe it's the greater bone walker that I'm thinking of that would mess up our day too easily. Nice quiet little dungeon this. Ow. Uh oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Yeah, we died. <laughs> that was stupid. Trapped. Open it anyway. What an absolute, what an absolute, absolute outlander moment. Oh, there's nothing really good on that side of the door anyway, so let's not worry about it too much, yeah? Uh, it hasn't got stuck, has it? Nope, there we go. Okay, we're good. 
Right, let's let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, that was kind of not worth it, so we'll not worry about that now. Yeah, come tomorrow and spend your first day dying, and then, you know, Daddy Dagoth takes over the world. All plays into the hands of the sixth house. Right, well, let's head to... Let's head back along this road, and we'll see if we can find anything else, shall we? In fact, um, now where's my map? I mean, we could go along. We could go further along the coast to that river. I guess I've not done that. I've not done that before. Yeah, why not? We've got a water walking spell, so uh, there we are. There we go. And now we can just casually water walk. Look! I'm doing it, mummy! I mean, to be fair, that water's not really deep enough to worry about too much, but having this spell will make certain areas of the game later on a lot more straightforward. Which I gotta say, I'm quite, like, enthused about. Ooh, look, clams. Mud crab. I'm gonna get him absolutely dunked on. Watch this. I'm about to end this kid's entire career. There we go. Take all of them. Right, on we go. Onwards. Walking simulator is now. And we love it. We love to see. It. Ah! My, uh, Water walking wore off. Oh! A slaughterfish. Oh. Shipwreck. Okay. Yeah, I mean, let's see if there's anything good in here. Anything good? Don't know like there's anything good in the cavern. Maybe below decks. Let's have a look. Hmm. Anything down here? There's a skelly bob. Got a bit of money on him. I'll take that. Thank you very much. What's all these? Ash statues. Oh, I don't like the look of them. Diamonds. Yeah, take them. Take the diamonds. Absolutely. The fact that kid's got ash statues on him. Mm. He's up to no good. He's absolutely up to no good. You'll find out why later. If you know, you know. Something in combat with me? Is it our slaughterfish still designed to be a dickhead? Oh, is that a bridge over there? Hmm. There's some sort of pathway here. Yeah, we got some sort of road at least. Um, hmm. Well, let's head up the pathway, I guess. There's a signpost. Uh, go to Aldrun, go to Narmark, go to Hlaud, go to Sedanine. Well, Sadine's where I've just come from, isn't it? Let's go this way instead. Okay. Let's head up this way. We'll see what we find. Hopefully. Hopefully this will turn out not to be a dumbass idea. I kind of feel like it is, because I don't normally go this way, but... Um, 
Hello. Mushrooms. Because, of course, it's Morrowind. There's mushrooms everywhere. Mushroom houses. It's like the Mushroom Kingdom. It's like Super Mario, this pal. It's like Super fucking Mario. And I live for it. Okay. So... Now, if I remember what the, what the jump key was... No, not T. Uh, hang on, what is the jump key? Controls. Jump is E. We're going to try and Elder Scrolls our way up a hill. There's some hills you can literally just do this up to just climb the full way up. I mean, it's Elder Scrolls, of course there are. You know, it's one of those games that's just really silly like that. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I recognise that bridge. Are we are we near the egg mine? I think we are. Yeah, yeah, we're near the egg mine. Okay. Let's go speak to these guys, see what they gotta say. Oh actually, what do we got growing here? Are these can I harvest these? Heather. It's got some properties, but... Hello. I'm a mine at the Shulk Egg Mine, but I'm just here taking a break. Well, that's fine. I will leave you to your break then, sir. Because, you know, I don't want to incur the wrath of your union. And let's be fair, you know, the unions are out there fighting for us. We support them. We do. We ain't no scavs on this channel. No, no, no. So it looks like we're going to Balmora through a different route from traditional, shall we say. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, gold cannon, drain health, stone flower, restore strength. Mm. Let's not get the Kwama pissed off at us. No, for a rate jog here, pal. Can you move quicker by doing this? Hang on, where whereabouts am I? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. If I want to get to... Balmora, but it's like over here somewhere, I think. Right. So let's keep hopping over this way. That thud when you're wearing he mostly heavy armor. Uh oh. We're going to have to deal with that Kwama. Okay, he's dealt with. He's been absolutely gotten to fuck. What's this? Mine? Cave. Let's leave the cave because caves often have big nasty things in them at this level and I don't want to get killed. Yeah, it's my first day back at work today, and I've got to say, it was pretty exhausting. Um, there was quite a lot of stuff. That I was on light juices, which obviously was, I think, necessary, because uh, I'm definitely not at capacity. I can't focus very well on my job, which obviously is not a good thing, but at the same time, you kind of expect it when you've gone through something like I went through um, in the last couple of weeks or so. Um, I mean, I'm hoping that my wife is going to make a quick recovery from, uh, excuse me, medication side effects, but we're just going to see how we go on that front. Um, on the plus side, it might make actually visiting her a bit easier. And did you hear that? Oh boy, oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, that was close. I thought we were about to die then. Ah, Balmora, here we are. And there's the Silt Strider. 
Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, look at that ass. Beautiful. We love to see it. We love to see it. See, this is the sort of thing I mean about Morrowind. It's so weird. I think that's why people love it so much. It's just one... It's so strange and alien and just really just straight up odd in a lot of ways. Yeah, we'll take all of them. Nice. Right, we need to go to the South Wall Corner Club then, do we? Let's see if we can find it. Argonians in this game look so weird. They really do. I, I don't know why they made them like that. That's the council club. That's not the right club. I go in there, they'll probably just call me an n and then just expect me to fuck off. And that's Morrowind all over, really, isn't it? Ooh, nice. Yeah, I'll take that. Take that gold. Nice, nice. South Wall Corner Club. Here we go. That's the badger. Right, what's in here? Hello, Sotilda. Hello, I'm Daryl Neriberry. I'm Sotilda, and this is Balmar. I don't believe we've met. Is there something I can do for you? I want to find Kais Kasades. That old sugar tooth? I'm not sure where he's living now. But ask Bacola Colchius, the owner. He'll know. Okay. You like to walk a fine line, don't you? Uh, I don't know about that, but... Why do you approach? I don't approach you. You rug. Look at you. I'll stuff you, turn you into a drone. Yeah, that's what I thought. This guy. No? What's this hmm? about? I'm trying to find the owner. Um, where is Bacola Colchius? He must be around here somewhere. Hmm. Maybe he's upstairs. Ah, here we go. What's this about? Good day, I'm Bacola Colchius, publican of the South Wall here in Balmara. We rent beds and I have a limited selection of goods for barter. If you're new here, I can also tell you where to look for other services or a specific place nearby. If you're looking for someone in particular, I may be able to help. Where is Caius? Old Caius rents a little bed and basket just up on the hill in the north edge of town. Guard the front door, not the upper door to the terrace, then right up the stairs, then left at the top of the stairs and down to the end of the street. Thank you. Uh, what do you got for barter? Any... Not really anything that's worth my time. Okay. Right, let's go, uh... Goodbye. Let's go find Daddy. I mean, obviously I knew where to find his house anyway, but, you know, we're... We're giving you guys the Morrowind experience here. And yes, that is how you find places in Morrowind. There's no quest markers. You have to pay attention to directions. There is no other way. Here we are. Look at him. Go about? It's about those sculpted abs, Daddy. What? Yes, I'm Kais Kasades, but what do you mean you were told to report to Kais Kasades? What are we talking about? So, you say your name is I'm Daryl Neriberry, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it? Yes. Yeah, it's very interesting. So, it says here the Emperor wants you to make me a novice in the blades, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders, I'm Daryl Neriberry? Yes. Good. Welcome to the service. Now you belong to the Blades, with the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you'd like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blades trainers now. Or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blades trainers. Orders? Here's your orders. Get a fucking job. <laughs> Here. First thing, Pilgrim, you're new and you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon, or armor, or a spell. And the second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventure is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighters Guild, or Mage Guild, or Imperial Cult, or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience, or go out on your own, look for freelance work or trouble. 
Then when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. Okay? It's great. Literally, you... Hey, hey! Welcome, welcome. Welcome. The first thing that happens when you get to the main quest in Morrowind, you get to the main quest giver and he says, Okay, here's your first job. Go get a fucking job. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get this in the other Elder Scrolls games. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We're going to go to the Fighters Guild, because obviously we're heavy armor. Fighters Guild is a good choice. Uh, which one is it? It's that one there. You should... Oh, hang on. Do I want to go to the armorer first? Like, finish gearing up a bit? Let's see. Hello, Meldor. What do you got? <laughs> What do you got? Anything good? Have you got Tims? Has Meldor got Tims? Um, hold on. Yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, where's my drink? Here we go. That's the badger. Mm. Oh, thank you. Yes. Ah, that's better. Um, something else about Morrowind which is interesting is... The armor system is much more involved. So if you've only played the later Elder Scrolls games, you'll be used to just like put on armor, put on a weapon, or put on certain bits of armor and put on a weapon. No, Morrowind, you have boots, greaves, um, cuirass, each individual shoulder, each individual hand, and then your helmet. <laughs> you have to cover everything. It's actually really quite involved in that sense. I mean, I love it, but um, you can kind of see why they simplified it for um, for people after after that a bit, I think. Can I buy like six of them for now? Yeah. How much is that going to cost me? Oh, it's not going to cost me that much, really. Okay. Cool. Cool. Good, 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 good. Right. Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. I've literally just bought shit off you, you ungrateful little prick. Get to fuck. Oh my god. People in Morrowind are so rude. Why? Why are they so rude? Well. Uh, I'm going to speak to the boss here. You like to walk a fine line, don't you? I don't know about that, but... I'm here to join the Fighters Guild, yes. Oh, you look like you can take care of yourself. Before I sign up, you might want to look at the Fighter Skill Charter. You ready to sign me up now? Just sign me straight up. I am now. I'm Daryl Nerryberry, the associate in the Fighter Guild. Work hard, follow orders, and I'll do just fine. And then seek out Aedis Fire Eye if I'm ready for advancement. Okay, got orders for me? Very simple contract to end an infestation of cave rats. I might be able to handle it. We'll see. Go to Drorain Thelus' house. It's here in Balmora, along the river on the east side. Ask her where the rats are coming from. Kill the rats and get your payment from Drain Thelus. Report back to her once you've taken care of this. Okay? However, I can now also get into the equipment chest. Oh, shit. I, ju I just bought hammers as well. Oh, I'm, I'm over-encumbered. That's not good. Uh, okay. I didn't think about that, did I? Hang on, what's... Uh... What's weighing me down? Yeah, I, d I didn't think that through particularly well, did I? Is it? It's because these. It's because these potions are actually kind of heavy. I think the restore health potions are kind of on the beefy side there. Right, let's chuck a few of them back in here. Um, those iron arrows are actually going to be. We can't place items in that container. Okay. So in that case, let's just dump these on the floor. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we can move around again now. Good, good, good. Right, okay. Well, I mean, we've got some... We've got some uh, armoring hammers now. Let's see, do we need to repair our stuff at all? We'll donk it. Yeah, it probably would help if I let my fatigue recover a little bit before I do shit like this, but... Well, let's not worry about it too much. The music is just so fucking good in this game. It's just so good. Like, you asked me to name the piece of music in the other, like, Elder Scrolls games. I, I probably can't. But Morrowind? Oh, no. 
Oh, I know those, uh, I know those pieces very well. Right, let's, uh, what do we got here? An alchemist. Will the alchemist buy those diamonds off me, do you think? Where is she? Hello. Can I sell you these diamonds? Uh, yeah. It looks like I can. Actually, that's a pretty good deal. You don't buy candlesticks. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, that's fine. I need you to buy shit from me. Right, let's go find these cave rats and get them dumped on. Orcs in this game look kind of weird as well. They, they look very piggy. Like, look at look at this dude. Look at this dude. Hello. Say your best. Uh, it looks like a piglin. Oh, I'm stuck in Minecraft. That's unfortunate. Yeah, no, I think Geraint Thales' house is one of these ones somewhere. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> I haven't played Minecraft in way too long now. I need to get back to it at some point, but um, I, I, my time is precious, so make it quick. I'm literally here to help you. Don't be so mean. Are you the one they sent to take care of the cave rats? Yes. These rats are such a nuisance. I'm worried they'll eat all of my pillows. You like pillows, don't you? I'm Daryl Neriberry. Anyway, I've got one trapped in my bedroom here, and the other two are in my storage area upstairs. Rats, that is not the pillow. Here's the key for that door. There are at least three of these beasts. I hope they haven't gone into my good pillows. Maybe I'll eat your pillows. Okay, the rat's dead. Um, these pillows are just... Why Why does she love pillows so much? Uh, don't want to worry about that. Ah, yes, the 36 lessons of Vivek. Hmm. Let's not let's not rob our contact. I'm I'm a good Neriberry. Hi waiting. I'm uh, actually Nerevar. By the grace of the gods, I'm Indiril Nerevar reborn. Oh, that is a bitter fate indeed. Right. Here we go. Hi rats. Ow. I just noticed there's a. Uh, there's like a score count on the inside of that shield. I've never picked up on that before. It's like a kill count or something. Right. Let's. I mean, while we're up here, we might as well rob her. You know, she was a bit mean to us, so I'm going to take her stuff. Um, I think that's a fair trade. I think that's a fair trade. Okay. Yep, she's got some gold. Look how rich we are. We've got like 1,200 gold at this point already. Oof. Yeah, take the alchemy supplies and then we'll brew up some potions with that before we move on. Right, yeah, we're over encumbered. But that's fine because we can mix up some potions. Okay. So what do we got? Um, salt rice. Take the salt rice. Yep, okay. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to, like, mix as much stuff as we can up. Get some Restore Fatigues made up. Use them Quimer eggs as well, because they're kind of heavy. Yeah, look at that. Lovely. Lovely. Almost none of these potions are succeeding. <laughs> Oh, the early game in Morrowind. It hurts. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just painful. Oh, we um we leveled up a skill. I'm not sure if we might have just actually leveled up as well. Right. Yeah, cancel that. 
Right, okay. What's our encumbrance looking like? Yeah, we've got 11 points left. That's fine. We might want to beef ourselves up at some point. I think that that's one of the problems with being a heavy armor character is that um, we're beefy, we're tanky, but we're also... I mean, we are looking around some uh, some extra weapons, I suppose, which we can get a shot of, so... Uh, might be a shout. All right. Let's... Uh, Tell her that the rats is dead. Outlander. I've literally just solved your problem. Don't be so mean. Okay, well the rats are the rats are dead. I'll take your word that the cave rats are dead. Here, take these hundred septums. It's what I agreed to pay the fighters guild. Right. And you can now, now you, you meanie bobini. I'm never gonna speak to you again because you were cruel to me. Calling me an outlander. When I've literally just solved your cave rat problem, which you could have probably done yourself. <laughs> it's horrible. Horrible buggers. Just mean all the time. Oh, I'm, I'm going to absolutely do this. Watch this, watch this. Hup! Yeah! Sick jump. Okay. Hello. Cave rats are dead. Give me orders. Local egg miners have problems with egg poachers, and I'm going to solve those problems, okay? Yes, egg poachers. May sound silly, but those quava eggs are among the few things worth exporting from this nasty little province. Dran Berra, the owner of the Shulk Egg Mine, wants to make an example of these thieves to keep other miners from getting funny ideas. The egg poachers, Savilo Othan and uh, Dana Lavalas, are former egg miners and long-time local troublemakers. You can handle that, can't you? Report back when the poachers are dead. Can I advance? Ah, yes, I'm now... I'm Daryl Neriberry the Apprentice. Speak Beautiful. Alright, calm down. Jeez. Well, before I do that, I'm going to rest up and recover a bit of health, I think. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to actually ding yet, am I? Hmm. Well. Okay. Rest until healed. Huh? I'm awakened by a loud noise. I am? Nanny? Nanny? I don't see anything. What's uh what's going on? I've been awakened by a loud noise, but I don't I didn't find them. Oh god. Ah There's a mean man. Get killed. I didn't expect that to happen at this level. Good grief. Can I take all of these? I'm over-encumbered. Hmm. That was unexpected. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty pretty heavily over-encumbered there, aren't I? Um, can I drink some... Um, Fortify strength. Yes. We'll drink that. We'll go and sell this stuff off. That was unexpected. Well, maybe we'll be able to make some absolute bank off of this stuff. What's the what's the value on it? That's pretty beefy actually. I tell you what, let's um Let's put the shoulders on. And did he have some boots with him? Oh wait no, I've got those iron boots, haven't I? There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Hi there. Right, Melda. I'm going to sell you those. See if I can like, sell all this shit off to him. Oh, you don't buy shirts. Okay. Uh, 573. Yeah, take it. 
Jesus, what? <laughs> Why has he put that on? <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Okay. Um, I can go to this guy to sell some stuff off, right? Yeah. Let's uh, sell you that and that and that. These clothes have been weighing me down as well. Jeez. I mean, I don't even care. That's not going to make me very much. Just uh, Have you got any... Oh, you got those, but they're not really great, are they? Okay, there we go. Right, but I think my voice is actually starting to hurt a bit, and I need to be on call for the hospital. So bear with me a second. So we're going to pull over here. Just a sec. Yes, we are. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be short streams while I kind of get back into the swing of this for now, I'm afraid. So uh, please bear with me on that front. But um, I've had fun with this tonight. It's been good to play something a bit more beefy. Um, I don't know what my schedule's like tomorrow. As before, it's going to depend on the hospital and like what happens on that side of things and other factors. So, you know, we'll see how we go on that. But I've had some fun tonight. I hope you guys have had fun as well. Um, hopefully I'll see you next time. I may be online tomorrow night. We'll see if I fancy playing anything or what's going on. I, I, like I said, I don't know. It's too early to tell. Um, but in the meantime, thanks to everyone who's come tonight. I hope you've had fun. And I will see you next time. Take care.